The creation of animals which do not have real human counterparts. No one here. A silhouette of feminine form sequestered in the alley, smoking Lucky Strikes, polishing a switchblade. Just a little more dry blood to remove, monotone whistling, hiding the blade in a black trench coat, licking her lips, not enough sleep. To change things, I spent the day viewing decayed film until I found her hiding near a cigarette burn. We removed the frame, tender and rare, carefully spliced the reel back together. No one will notice, no one will care. Her face trembling, turned around, became alive, vibrations slight, trembling, our sweat stained the lenses, no one heard. Our licentious inclinations ripped the sheets that kept us in bondage. Every action she performs is film. Minutes passed out, her thighs clung to the shadows behind us, slamming back assailants. She shuddered, no one tasted it. As the taking of the animals to slaughter, psalms were faintly heard and the trees trembled. The book she was reading slipped from her hands and she smiled as the binding broke and pages were wafted away. She managed to grab one back from the clutches of God, gleefully read its contents. Cannibal recipe number 69, ingredients. One perfume touch, one aspiration, one lick of the lips, one fingering of her pussy, what yank of a penis, one aborted fellatio, mixed with the blood of four female houseflies in order to achieve the Renfield effect. <laughs> Cook up in a new stainless steel bent tablespoon. Using a new hypodermic, draw fluid gently through a small cotton ball. Once syringe is full, tap the hypo gently and excrete air bubbles. Remove cotton and rub over clitoris and cock. Tie up, shoot up, flush out needle. Save a flash, bang. She said, these sins make my tongue tingle. These transgressions will never be forgiven. Enjoy. The sod only knew part of it because I let them, because I let them in. An alphabet that was crafted out of burning acrid vapors joined in the dance of numbers that had invaded her space. She expected it and she laughed, and then she hated the fact that she gazed up through silence drowning. Her paralyzed lips kissed, kissed every hole in the floor until eyes opened between the black lines. In forgotten or forbidden rooms, she didn't recall which, she suffered the licks of accusing memories, fabricating new creatures to eventually cast aside. She told everyone who would listen that it's best to live with our sins while savoring the texture of evil hidden in our memories. She had been accused once too often and been excluded from the feast of archangels. The driver's eyes drifted, drunk on advertising media, while she slept in the back seat. Thank you. I have uh, one more short one. Uh, the Velvet Loop and the Pierced Heart. The Mouth. A squalid silence on disgraced streets. Wet sweat, ions screaming. Nerves stretched. Pedestrian passing by. A first floor apartment. Eyes peered through. Broken glass panes of pain for a wicked tableau. A crucifixion in progress. And executioner and victim were content saw herself die 50 times, left deep bleeding cuts, grimy lines of truth. How do we sleep at night? An answer in the crown of barbed wire and the vacant mommy's tears. Sensitive colors of random design embedded on the pulsating flesh of feminine origin, such are the days of television. Reality beckons from inside ovens of grandeur, hot wet tombs electric in nature, fear crawls through wires of undetected length in the room of shrieks. Morse code is quickly deciphered and she eats the symbols with great relish. Pissed on my ants is almost breathless, connected a few days later, a half version of progress redirected. Our love for each other, we snuggled in her trying to express the circumstances of tumbling bodies. Mechanisms intervene, develop the fetish of standing behind glass, watching customers pay good money. This is looking at the other.